Hello. What? Hello there. Hello, my gorgeous little tortoise. Let's do this. Let's get. Let's get shop done. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. I want to know what's in that box. Look at these lamps. Wowza. Look at these. They're porcelain. Oh, they're crate and barrel. Oh, yeah. Little, little signage going. No, I didn't see that. You know I have to have that one. and early this morning because I am going to the swap meet and it is going to be 110 degrees today so we're getting there early so I got to get out here and do a little critter duty before I go to the swap meet so uh, it is a romaine lettuce day for the tortoises which doesn't happen very often because there's not a lot of nutrients in this it's more like a treat uh, but it also gets some nutrients, I mean not nutrients, some moisture into them. So that's why they're getting this today. And uh, we're going to see if anybody's out. So a couple days ago I did a little upgrading. I had to put some insulating material onto Shelly's pen because the sun was beating on it and she was not happy. We also had misters installed, which you can't see. Oh! She's peeking out of her little den there. What is on your nose? You guys step on your nose, mamas. You, would, you, would you like some nummy nums this morning? <gasps> would you like some nummy nums? Well, good morning. Good morning. Oh, she's happy now. She gets the biggest portion because, well, she's the biggest girl. All right, she's gonna chomp that down. Hey, Tiny. Are you going to come out for breakfast? Are you under there? Hey, come on out. Come out. We got breakfast. Hello. What? Hello there. Hello, my gorgeous little tortoise. Come on out. I got some goodies for you. Come see what we put in here. You got a, you got a little lettuce breakfast. Come on out. Let's get some nummies. Bubbles is still way in there. Bubbles, are you going to come out for breakfast? We see you. We see your cute little footsies. Are you going to come out? Or are you still snoozing? Oh, that's still a snoozing tortoise. He's not coming out yet. And the baby is tucked way down deep in there. She's probably got the best little burrow because she's so small, this still worked. So she's got a almost a completely natural burrow. Um, so she's still way, way back there because it's so cool. She'll come out in a little while. Looks like you're the only one out eating your breakfast this morning, my mama girl. You have at it. So a lot of people have been asking for an update on Hope. So Hope now lives outside in a little enclosure. And uh, Hope is doing really good. And I think Hope is ready for some breakfast too. This is dandelion greens. So Hope is getting dandelion greens this morning. Hope has the straw all over the place. We keep trying to like bundle it up for, actually we think Hope is a boy now. We keep saying her, but we think hope is a him. Oh, but there's food right there. Do you see it? Look. Come here. Come say hi for the camera. Say hi to everybody. Say hi, I'm the cutest little tortoise in the whole wide world. And I'm a miracle. For those that don't know Hope's story, Hope was a rescue. Uh, she was living in a bathtub in a house with another tortoise. Uh, and these are and She's a Russian tortoise. She's not a desert tortoise like the other ones and uh, they let the dog chew on her. These are all scars. She will have those. He will have those for the rest of his life. And when we got Hope, Hope couldn't even walk. 
Uh, Hope was so malnourished and so swollen um, that he wasn't even mobile. And now look at him go. What are you doing? Want this? Want this? Want some nummies? Want some nummy treats? So now Hope's living it up like a king. Having a good time. Are you sticking your nose up at dandelion greens this morning? Is it not what you really want? I know you like these. I know you do. We are also going to fix Hope up with a new special little hide this morning that I just had overnighted from Amazon because that's like a thing for like an extra buck 99. I can get it here like the next morning and it arrived before I even got out of bed. There we go. Ah, you just figured out what that was. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. They don't have teeth. They have a beak, a hard little beak for breaking off chunks. And then they have that adorable little tongue to uh, make it all go down. All right. You enjoy, little Hope. We're going to fix up your new little house. So Hope's got a new little hidey hole that hopefully will uh, help him feel a little bit more protected in here. All right. You eat your breakfast. I got to go to the swap meet. See you in a bit. And then these are our, we call these the downstairs birds. These are the six rescues that are, I think they're somehow all related. I really, really do. A little hard to see through the bars here. These ones are not super tame. Rachel has them, you know, she's working with them, but they're not like flit around outside the cage kind of tame. They're a little, a little bit chicken still, but we love them. And they're the ones that you usually hear when I'm filming anything in the downstairs portion of the house. Okay, good morning, guys. Okay, once again, I am being chauffeured to the swap meet. It's sunny Las Vegas. Good morning. Up bright and early with a smile on his face. Uh, yeah. Gotta love it. It is early. All right, let's do this. Let's get. Let's get shop done. <laughs> All right, we made it to Broad Acres. I think they call it Broad Acres Marketplace. Try to be all fancy. Mm -hmm. It is not fancy, is it? I think it's fancy. You think it's fancy? Compared to the one back in San Antonio. Oh. The one I've been to. I think this is pretty nice. All right. So he says this is a fancy swap meet. Well, anyway, it's early still. It's before 8 a.m. We made it before 8 a.m. It's going to get hot really quick. So we got to get in there. We got to see what goodies we can find for resale. We got to go get shop done. Let's get shop done. Let's do it. I don't think I've ever seen a hot pink safety vest. I'm kind of digging it. Stylish. I'm kind of digging it. All right. Ooh, look at all the dollar. Five dollars. Ooh, they got I'm gonna, good. I'm gonna look at the. Dollar. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta look. If that's your niche, you gotta look. Yeah, I'm gonna look at the dollar. I'm gonna peek through here just a little bit. Look at this guy. Monopoly must pick. Up. He's the Monopoly the jail Monopoly. guy. These are all just one dollar. So. Yeah, that's a good through. Yeah, yeah, I gotta get so him. Hey, I find one and then I'm like, okay, let's find some what more. Find? Let's yeah, find some more. Let's go. Yeah, but I'm not seeing anything else. There's some cute ones, but not good for like resale. So we'll just get our little, we'll get our little Monopoly guy. Ooh, I like that. I think it's just resin though. I thought it was metal at first. All right, it's gonna be one of those things. If I'm still thinking about it when we're done and I have to come find it, I will. Still here. If it's still here. I don't need it, I don't need it that bad. Oh my goodness, it's still here. This is a popcorn bucket and I researched it and uh, I, wa I wanted to buy it if it was still here, but this vendor is not here yet. They still got their barrier up, so I hope, I hope they come soon, because I want to buy that. Why so many of the vendors are not even here yet. 
I would think they want to be here and be set up early when it's going to be, or maybe they're just not selling today because there's going to be a heat warning, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Let's see what we can find. Hey, there's poo. There's poo on the table. Just saying. That's actually not a bad, that's not a bad looking little Winnie the Pooh. No, that is the Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. Chalkware. Older. Got a little bait tray. Ooh, got a nice uh, Tiffany Style. Tiffany Style lampshade. Look at this. It's... Tools. Don't need no hand warmers today. <laughs> <laughs> Spider mask. Ooh, skeleton mask. $3. Got a guitar hero thing. Somebody's put some stickers on it. I'm not looking for myself. I'm kind of keeping an eye out for my friends who niche in that kind of stuff. But I know they do sell. I want to know what's in that box. He said I can take a peek. Oh, it's a set. Looks like it's a set of dishes. Set of dishes. Not what I was hoping for. Oh, there's different stuff in here. Oh, that's broken. Yeah, it's a whole bunch of plates and stuff down there. All right. Still, so many vendors that are not set up yet, or maybe not setting up at all today, because we were the only ones with the idea to get here early. It's a little bit of a ghost town. Goodness, goodness. And a little table of stuff, puppies. It's a San Diego Chargers belt buckle now. Uh, Chargers are no longer in San Diego. So, I don't know. I know, like, Jordan's very upset with the Chargers for, uh, for leaving San Diego. So, looks like a pretty, it's a limited edition. How much is your belt buckle? Five dollars? Oh, yeah. I think I'll take a chance for five dollars. This is where I got my Zuka back last time. Let's see what you got today. Little Nico mug. It's kind of cute. Good morning. Oh, yes, it is. That's why we're here early. <laughs> yep. Okay, uh, I think we're gonna get this and do a challenge with Mikey Bags of Money. He's gotta wear the kilt carrying Doreen, you know, out on his next little adventure. Yes, he used the accent. I, 
Oh, we'll make him do the Scottish accent yeah, too. I, I think that's the oh, I think that's it. We're hoping it'll fit him, but either way, it's uh, also a good item for resale. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and swing that for 20 bucks. So this is where we uh, got all of those 1970s clothes from, and this is all they have left. <laughs> it's all they have left of all the clothes. Carrie told me to take a peek at what was left, but there you go, Carrie. This is all that's left. Everything else has sold. But I did spot these nice little vintage spice jars. How much are your little spice jars? A dollar each. A dollar each? I think we're gonna swing a dollar each. You have six of them. Five dollars. Done. Okay, we're gonna get those. Is this real Melmac? Texas Square. Ooh, Texas. I didn't, I didn't know Texas Square made anything but those big old bowls. So, uh, let's see, are these all Texas Square too? That one is not. But these are. Look at that. Ooh, Texas Square bowls, cups. Is that one too? See, that one's not marked the same. All from that same guy who had all this vintage stuff. Goodness. So he's finding some hats. I'm gonna need a hat here before this day is through. I'm just saying. <laughs> all right. It's getting warm. It's getting very warm. down here. I'm kind of looking through some of these dishes now. As we know, these are all super old. This is Good Morning by Royal, made in USA. That is so mid-century right there. And there is a larger and a smaller. And they're in pretty fantastic condition. Holy smokes. All right. I think I'm going to put those in my pile too. All right. Got some Time magazines from the 80s. Anything exciting? Oh, bowling. Oh, Saturday Evening Post. Oh, time again. I do love the little washboards. This one is a reproduction. They're so cool. They make cool decor items. Old speakers. Look at you guys. Some very old Avon colognes. Ooh, look at those snazzy shoes. Noah kind of likes the snazzy shoes. Because he's snazzy. Those are size 12, so those are too big for Noah. Oh, look at this. Sitting on the edge of the bathtub with his little butt cheeks sticking out. A little towel bar. Came from an antique store in Maryland. That is really solid and heavy. I'm gonna see how much that one is. It's an interesting little uh, mirror full of goodies. We've got the gazelle. What's that say? Brass and copper. So it's not solid brass. Bastillion. Let's see how much that is. And the little owls. Now those feel like solid brass. They are very brassy. The little chicken light is very cute too. Shot in the eye. Okay. Ooh, it's getting so hot I can hardly pick it up. Oh. Okay, I gotta find out prices on all of this. It's a little I never abacus. understood it. You know how to do that? No, I oh, don't. Mm-hmm. That one on the top. It's and like marble. That's really awesome. I like that. That is cool. I like that a lot, actually. See, but I see a horse. Too. Oh, he's coming off of his little... He's a wild Mustang. He's coming off of his base there. Is it just unscrewed off? Yeah, the, it would just... Tighten up. Oh, is he? Yeah. Yeah, it would tighten up. Oh, finding more. Oh, I see a... Cool goose. Ooh, he's hot. He's hot. He's hot. He's hot. He's a bottle opener. Oh my goodness, he's hot. 
Those are Ron Lee clowns. Uh, do I have to make an exception on clowns? I know the Ron Lees are really, really collectible. Oh, everything is so hot. This is some weeping gold. This says Lotus. See the mark on the bottom there. That's actually a really pretty piece. So I might, might find out how much that one is. We got some small pieces out. The small pieces of ironwood are still being harvested and things are still being created. It's the larger ones that are becoming more valuable. Some interesting, oh, is it a whistle? It's a whistle. And then these are wood. These are those um, Oaxacan, but they're missing pieces. And the valuable ones are signed by the artist. So here's one signed, Martin Melkor. So it depends who the artist is to as to their value. So those are missing some parts. Oh, look at those bookends. Those are cool. Those are cool. More helmets. All right, I did end up uh, negotiating the owls, the chicken lamp, the red sculpture, and the the antelope for forty dollars. So basically, ten dollars a piece. Um, she wants seventy for the Native American bronze, which is is probably not a bad price, but it's not a price I can do resale on. Okay, this bell is pretty cool. Ooh, that's a loud bell. Noah could call us all to dinner with that. Look at these lamps. Wowza. Wowza, wowza. You gotta have a big house, though, to put a lamp like that, though. And I? I don't. Are these? Oh, these are Sirocco. Yep, they even say Sirocco on them. That's some interesting art. Ooh, Paul. De Detelson? I don't even know how you say that, but his work is really, really popular. Um, I'm just, I don't want to pick up art. Oh, more brass. More brass. Those pheasants, oh, sorry. Those pheasants are nice. This is an interesting, um, it's almost done like on a surveyor's tripod and then they put a a candle holder on top. That's actually quite interesting. I see it. What? Oh, geez. <laughs> he is a JJ. Okay. Let me see if I can find a little pile of jewels. Oh, that's a duck billed platypus. Hey, is this Mr. Trash? I don't know what he is. Let's see. What we got here? Look at the little treasures mixed in here. That's another, I think. Oh, no, it's not marked. I would have thought that was like a, a JJ. Not as old as it looks. Thanks, Benny Watch. I don't mess with watches. I just don't mess with watches. Oh, that looks like a nice little... Oh, it's broken. Rhinestones. Are... Oh, it's got like Pepe Le Pew on it. I don't do clocks and watches. I just don't. Too much can go wrong. I try to stay away from things where things can go wrong. What are you playing with? Oh. So it appears it works. It just needs to be. It sounds like it has some issues though. Well, it, it does that when you don't have something to balance oh, it. Oh, when it's not balanced. As, as a gimbal, but brand new. These are like 250 to 300 bucks. Yeah, I know. I bought one yeah. and I don't use it. Yeah, me neither, <laughs> but I was thinking of a giveaway when I get monetized because I'm so close. There you go. There you go. Giving stuff away. Yeah. Hay hooks. Oh, not me. 
This gentleman right here. Colorful doily. Oh my god, I don't need any more doilies right now though. I just don't. Yeah, I don't know nothing about cards. And I like don't know nothing about cards. <laughs> Alright, so I got the, the cool JJ Dragon and I stuck them in my bag already. And this little duck filled platypus just because it's so different and interesting. Two dollars a piece. I didn't quite make it out of this booth and I found these little guys. These little miniature billiard balls in really good quality actually. I'm gonna find out how much those are too. Okay, this looks interesting. It's a corkscrew in the uh, shape of a scarab beetle. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna pick a few things from this booth because I always do well here price wise. So look at these. They're porcelain. Oh they're crate and barrel. Edamame. They're chopstick rests. <gasps> There's six of them. We're gonna grab those too. Let's we'll see what else we can find. Our pile has started. Let's see what goodies we got. That's a costume jewelry. I'll just gotta look and see. What's in the box? Oh, it's kind of nice. <sighs> Ooh, thick lead art pencils. Ooh, I know somebody who could definitely use some of these. I see one of my very favorite characters ever, Jiminy Cricket. He is a Walt Disney Disneyland, Walt Disney World Disneyland kind of little guy. So he's definitely got to go in the pile. Oh, illustrated Elvis, 1935 to 1977. Goodness, it's a little rough. Oh, oh, we got, uh, what year are you? 2013, all right. Elvis was long gone in 2013. These are just like, um, uh, what do you call it? Tribute, tribute issues. Yes. Somebody was an Elvis fan though. Somebody was an Elvis fan. Look at these little, oh, they're connected. Sometimes these can be Limoges. This is from the Salem collection, but sometimes they're little Limoges guys on there and I know I get really good prices from this booth so I'm gonna put those in the pile too see this little wolf sitting in here that looks interesting he is a Stephen Smith yeah, out of Brooklyn out of Brooklyn New York I, kinda like him. I got uh, colored pencils oh you found some more Yay! Can you add it to it? Yes, please. Yeah, this is a good rat. Yeah, it is, and I have a little artist at home. I use their markers. I just spotted this really, really nice boot bag. It is it says Justin Boots, but here's here's the thing. It's 2003 National Finals Rodeo. Uh, it's in really good shape, and they said they just want 10 bucks for it, so I'm gonna snag that. Oh, wow! Look at this piece. Oof. It's big though. It is big, but that is a nice old piece of Empoli glass, which I do think is coming home with us too. Hey, I was making one quick little pass through just before I go get a total, and I found this interesting little tooled leather, little satchel kind of a thing. It's got one little schmooze on the inside, but look at it, it's Egyptian. Hieroglyphics, I guess you call that. That's uh, that's pretty interesting. I think we're gonna go ahead and snag that too. It's got a whole nother side of stuff over here. I look at real quick. It's interesting with a little 
flowers side there. We have music coming at us from all sides. This kind of matches that little vase that we picked up the other day. It says made in China though, so I don't think it's that old. There's some really old little Christmas ornaments in here. I might snag a couple of these. Snag. Snag seems to be my word of the day. I'm just realizing. I've said that multiple times, haven't I? Let's snag it. Let's snag it. If we need it, like it. Let's snag some of these little kitschy vintage ornaments. He's pretty rough. Ugh. But you know what? The price will be right. The price will be right. Okay, I'll just make a little little snag pile of ornaments here. Let's see. Oh. Ooh. Yes, he's good. Okay. All right. Who else needs to come with us? He's a little bent. He's a little bent. Oh, there's another little kitschy mouse. Oh, another little kitschy mouse. Now we can put those all in a little group together. Oh, oh I don't like him. Sorry, I don't like him. He has to stay. Oh, he's missing his bat. He lost his bat. All right, I think, I think that's gonna about do it. There's my little pile I'm ending up with. So this is a little pile of jewelry I got at a booth where I didn't film, because that particular vendor here does not like us filming in his booth. Um, these were all, let's see, it was $5 a piece for these, and then it was two for five, two for five. I think I paid- These are nice couplings. $35 for all of this. So this is actually painted on a uh, uh, sand dollar and it's signed. It's a really pretty butterfly. I haven't checked chains or anything for it being for, I'm assuming Nothing's. they've checked it for 14 karat. Uh, I got some really cool cufflinks, yeah. They're porcelain with a little royal lion. Yeah, like a crest I almost. like to call him the, the Lowenbrow lion. <laughs> um, these are very, very vintage clip-on rhinestone earrings. And then I got some rhinestone necklaces. This one's not that old. This one's like a, a redo, but it's really, really pretty. Oh, maybe it is older than I think. Yeah, you know, that clasp is older now that I look at it. So it is an older one. And then this one has just the little catch hook on it. And that's what I've learned as a way to date this old jewelry is by how it's constructed more than the materials even used. And then I got all these little po poke, po furls. <laughs> I was gonna say faux fo pearls, but these might actually be real. Uh, it is missing one pearl right there. I did not do the grit test yet. I have this thing about putting anything to my mouth, you know, that comes from such a place. <laughs> and that was like even before 2020. Uh, but no, I do think these are faux, but they are very, very vintage nonetheless. And then these are like freshwater pearls and they have this little keeper claspy thing. Oh, it is missing its little thing, but that's okay. Cause I sell these in my, jewelry sales and I can explain and show everything and I have a lot of jewelry people who repair mm -hmm. and and put the stuff and then this bracelet I almost didn't get it until I looked at the the clasp and it is again that and I forget the name of it but the the little piece that you know fits in there and these are also freshwater pearls and I got this cute little um Brooch? I wanted to okay. say acorn, but now I'm looking. I don't know if those are supposed to be the acorns or they're just fancy little jewels hanging off it. It just looked older to me. It does. Kind of cool. Kind of dang. I like dangly pins, but yeah. 35 for all of it. And yes, we are now in the truck and headed out. It is over. Uh, well, I. It, it felt says like 91 over. Year. I think when we take off, it's going to read it correctly. Yeah. I don't think it's 91. 
so we are back in the truck. It is, it is, that is Jordan texting me. <laughs> it is only quarter to 10, already 91 degrees. It feels warmer, feels way warmer than 91 degrees, I gotta say. But that's just maybe because we were like right out in it. I'm already sunburned. I, I'm feeling it. I'm burnt. I got my vitamin D dose. Uh, but we are now going to head out and actually find maybe one or two yard sales because we're crazy that way. Because that's what this reseller life is all about, right? Uh, and it's fun. So, we're crazy. It's very people. crazy. Crazy. <laughs> all right, so let's go see what we can find. All right, we found a yard sale to stop at. It's quite a large one. So uh, we're going to check it out, see what he's got. Let's go. Household goods, tricycles, ooh, buckets of toys. I am just not a toy reseller, but I do like my plush. Coles. Oh, fuzzy friends that are caterpillar. He's really cute. Turtle. Got it. Interesting. Lots of coals, lots of coals. Sometimes if you put the coals together in like sets of whatever the theme is, they do good. This is Ophelia. I kind of have a little uh, thing for Ophelia. I like her. I'm going to hold on to her. Oh, do I see a llama? I see a crazy llama. He's not very, he's not very bougie. Oh, it's another turtle. I am. I'm leaving the turtles, guys. I'm leaving the turtles. Fisher Price. Got some Disney characters here. Oh, it's a ninja penguin. Ninja penguin. Toy Works. Oh, he's really cute. Oh, he's another Coles. Okay. Oh, one more bucket. One more bucket. He's a. Uh, what? Oh, he's Freddy Bear. That's hilarious. It's Freddy Bear. <laughs> oh, buckets and tubs, buckets and tubs. I don't see anything over there that I want to dig in. Mm. Some art. Um, not anything I want to dig in today. Oh, there's some nice uh, blue glasses. What's this guy? Oh, it's very, very lightweight. I expected that to be like a heavy ceramic. What kind of drinks you got? Tea set. Oh, science experiments. Ah, so John Wayne. The Western. Sure. Oh. Oh, they have soda. Do you have Dr. Pepper? No, we don't have Dr. Pepper. Do you have Pepsi? You just have Coke? Yeah. Coke, Coke and me don't get along. <laughs> Ooh, kiss the cat. I'll take a water. I'll take a water. You got changed for a 20, sir? Made in Brazil. Ooh. I think I'll pick that up, too. What are these? Oh, they're for the cricket machines. Ooh, I kind of need a new keyboard. Oh, that's a gaming keyboard. Ooh, gaming essentials, keyboard and mouse. Huh. Let's find out how much that is. Ultra 3D jigsaw puzzle. Ooh, the Grand Canyon uh, Skywalk. I'm, I'm not brave enough to do that. I am not brave enough to do that. Anybody brave enough to do that? I just, no, 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 no. Oh, let me go back to these mugs. I got some water and got distracted. Ah, that's an Odagiri. Grab that one. I think that does something once it gets hot. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll put that in the pile too. 
That's Marilyn Monroe. Goodies. What's the auto cup holder? Oh, for the like, okay. Rachel needs one for the back seat. I gotta figure out something for the back seat. She never has a drink holder for the back seat. Are these old ones? Or are they newer ones? Three dollars for all those guys. Hmm. That's a big, big bag full for three dollars. I'll grab that too. Oh, this is one of those, um, those just the stand, the light stands, like that. I wonder which one this is. Oh, usually they're marked which one it is. It's not telling me. But you know what? I need one of those. Let's see what we got in this little bin of goodness. Oh. Oh, that's a good brand. Cute. This is you um like nice beaded clutch, but it's newer. What is that? Color to color blends, warm tones. Is it fabric paints? Chameleon something? Which one? No, I didn't see that. You know I have to have that one. Oh my goodness. All right, there's my pile. Okay, well that was a really good yard sale. This happens to be a friend of Sonny's and he also has a YouTube channel. What is it, Sonny? <laughs> I gotta read this off. I'm, I'm Spanglish, so forgive me. <laughs> Look at Tiran in el USA, what they throw in the USA and Omics. We will do a screenshot of yes, this. Yes, uh, here. I'll, I'll, just, I'll just show it here right now. Um, let's see if they could do Can you see that? Let's see if it'll. Where is it? There we go. We got it. Yeah. We got it. Okay. There you go. And um, really good prices, really good stuff. And uh, we both came away with a big uh, bag full of goodies at this yeah. one. So, yay. All right. We might, we might find like one more as you're taking me home because I saw a garage sale sign. Yeah, just we'll go to that one. So we're gonna go to that one, and that's probably gonna be it because it's it's getting hot. All right, we're off. Oh yeah, little little signage going. And there's another. I like good signs. Whoever this is. You got good signs. I hate when it's so like tiny. And you the can't writing. see where to go. Yeah. My eyes are already bad enough. Okay, now we're on the hunt. Still on the hunt. Where's that yard sale? Where's that yard sale? Oh, I see another sign. Yep. Right up there. Good eyes. Sign, sign, everywhere a sign. <laughs> There's your sign. Hey, they put some money. Now that can be a bad thing too, because they could be like professional yard sellers and sometimes they've already cherry picked all the really good oh, uh, like eBay. Oh, that's, that's it. Sign. They're they're out of the good signs now. <laughs> all right. My goodness. Still a good sign. Nice and bold. They're like way in here. Yeah. Hey, sometimes hey, the harder I ones see to one. get to are the it's best way, ones. It's way yeah, up I there in the mapping. distance. You see the yellow on the map. <laughs> Whoever came up with that fluorescent Oh, oh, there's two of them. That means there's two. Oh, it's a twofer. <laughs> Ooh, love it. It's, she's like, are y'all coming? Because I'm okay. It's inside the garage. That's beautiful. Ooh, little dolphins. I can't, it's so weird that they call these dolphins. They're not dolphins. They're fish. But yeah. the technical term is dolphin. <laughs> Those are all $2 over on that rack. Okay. Are you dropping stuff $2. over there? <laughs> Yeah, Sunny goes. Back, Sunny goes straight for the clothes, and I go straight for the tchotchkes. <laughs> well, we've got plenty of tchotchkes. Ooh, Operation Shrek. It's a good one. Little board books. Oh, look how cute he is with his little leg dangling over the side. What are you made of? 
Isn't he cute? I love how he can sit on the edge of it. I know, you know I love it, his little dangly leg. leg. Yeah, or you can put him up, you know, or you can have it up. Either way, obviously. I like him. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about him, but I like him. I'm gonna get him. He came from Newport Beach. I'm getting him. I like him. And I like half price too. Half price is good. Edgecomb Potters. That's pretty nice for $5. I'll put that in my little pile I'm starting here. That's nice. Just the painted tile. You can kind of read the Jesus Lopez, 2008. Okay, I'll put that in the pile too. You had me at half price, man. <laughs> <laughs> we will get the Road Runner. Oh, he'd be a fun little giveaway. Him. Oh, that wind is coming up now. Wow. I don't like that. I don't like that because then we have to take down umbrellas that I have in my backyard. That's cool. Made in, it's made in China, but it's Pat, Pat Olin's Potters. I just like that it's got goats. Okay. Grab that one. A little bit of jewelry here. Oh, I might have to get that mermaid for Carrie. Might have to do it. But I am going to get the sand painting Roadrunner. We'll put him in the pile. I like seeing these over here in the side of town. Apache Shepherd Boy. What's that? Roadrunners? Oh. oh, yeah, I don't see them that much here. I saw them all the time when I lived in Tucson. Oh my goodness. Look at these guys. Okay, first, I love these a whole lot. So it's gonna be a dollar for the pair. So I'm gonna grab those too. But let's take a look at these trolls. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at these guys. Oh my goodness, house mouse troll pets. <gasps> oh. Hmm. Damn. I am kind of loving all of these. So what, what would you want if I took all of your trolls? Well, how much? They're all, they're... I didn't see individual prices on there them. There were on the bottom. Oh, okay. Ago, so, um, let me see. Well, let me add them up for you, okay? Add it up and let's make a deal. All right, they're adding. They're adding up the trolls. That's an FTD. Ooh, that is a really cool mug. I like that mug for 25 cents because it's half price. We'll get that too. Okay, had to make a stop so that I can pay for all my goodies from that yard sale. There it is. Now we can go pay for our goodies. It came to $200 even. Oh, look at these guys and they're half price. I'm going to take those. All right, I'm getting, I'm getting the elephant the and her room, baby. So yes. Stay in the same room. Okay. <laughs> Holy cannoli. All right, it is time to be done. It is almost noon. It's over 100 degrees. It's hot, but boy, did we find some amazing things. I mean, you're going to have to go over to Sunny Las Vegas channel. Sunny Las Vegas's channel. I'll have it, I'll have it linked down in my description of this video uh, to see all the goodies he bought. He has a different niche than me. But what's really fun is I like to challenge myself to find things in my friends niches too that now I don't have to buy them I find them for them to go make some money on that's super fun for me too uh, so we've got 
I'm glistening. I'm pretty sure I'm glistening at this point. Um, so yeah, so uh, I, I'm not sure. Oh, Sonny's talking uh, to the gentleman's um, where we were just were at because he's got some couches he's giving away for free. So Sonny's trying to hook those up with a friend. Uh, so yeah, this literally is very, very close to my house. So we, we just found this follow the signs and found some amazing, amazing things.
soak my head under some water and then I gotta get to work because that's what it's all about. This is the fun part. You gotta do the part that's not quite as fun to keep doing the fun part. You gotta just keep at it. Like Dory says, just keep swimming. All right, he's back. So I was just wrapping it up, Sunny. Told them that they're gonna have to go over to your channel because you've been filming this whole day too. Yeah. And uh, you'll see what he found. And uh, with that, everybody, go be profitable. And? Make fun. Make it fun. Make it fun. You're getting closer. I, 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 we need to do this more often. <laughs> so I get it down. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. All right, everybody. See you on the next one.